What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning into my channel. I'm Mike Varney and today I'm going to be going over photography basics. Now this is not going to be a comprehensive video. This is going to be the most simple explanation you can find. This video is going to be designed to get you and your camera out in the field and taking better pictures right away. So if you're hoping to find a more comprehensive detailed video, this is probably not the video for you. If you are, however, wanting to know exactly how can I adjust my settings to get a better picture, to get better quality out of my camera in a really simple format, then this video is for you. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, so first things first, I'm shooting with a Canon 5D uh, with a 50 millimeter lens and I am going to be using an ND filter. You don't have to use an ND filter, I'm just choosing to use one today because I'm shooting into uh, straight into the sun but you don't have to do that. So if you really wanna get started, here's what I like to do first. I like to set my shutter speed to one over 100, lower my aperture to as low as my lens will let me lower it, and my ISO to 100. Now these are not going to be prime settings for every single situation. This is just my starting point. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna to wanna to turn your camera to manual, which is the little M, uh, which is then shown right here. So you want to set your shutter speed to 1 over 100. Uh, this is your aperture, also called f-stops. Set that to as low as it can go. Mine will go to 1.8. Depending on the lens you use, it might be different. And then my ISO is a little bit too high, so I'm going to hit Q and turn that down to 100. Now like I said, this is just my starting point. I will adjust these settings towards the different scenarios that I find myself in. So I'm going to be photographing Ashley here. We've got the uh, sun setting nice and low. Uh, let's get started. <clears throat> okay, so first things first, I'm gonna snap a picture, see what it looks like. As you can see, it's way too dark. So I'm gonna start with shutter speed. Shutter speed you want to be set to a little bit higher than the focal length of your lens. I'm shooting with a 50 millimeter. Anything over one over 50 is going to be good. If you have a 100 millimeter lens, you're gonna to wanna to set it to maybe one over 125 um, and apply that to whatever lens you're using, okay? So one over 100 is good for me. Um, if you're shooting a fast moving subject, you're gonna to want to raise your shutter speed. If you're shooting in low light, you're gonna to wanna to lower it and use a tripod. But we're shooting in good conditions, a still subject, and I'm gonna be shooting in <clears throat> good lighting conditions, so one over 100 is a good starting point. Next is aperture. Aperture is like the eye of your camera. The lower the number, the larger your, your aperture is, and the more light is allowed to get into the sensor. If you adjust that number up, it will get smaller and allow less light. So because I want my picture to be brighter, I'm going to leave the aperture low. Another thing that it does is it gives you that nice bokeh in the background. It will focus on your subject and blur out everything behind you. We call that bokeh. If I were to raise my aperture, it would make the image darker, but it would bring more things into focus. Here's an example. So right, so right now I'm going to shoot with an aperture of 1.8. And you can see this is very underexposed. Actually, I really like that picture. But if I adjust the aperture by turning it all the way up and then take a picture, now it's too dark. By turning the aperture up, it made the image too dark. So in low lighting situations, you want your aperture down to make your image brighter. So I'm gonna turn it back down to 1.8. Now, next is ISO. ISO is your camera's sensitivity to light. So the lower the ISO, the less sensitive it is to light. The higher the ISO, the more sensitive it is to light. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna crank the ISO up to a thousand and we'll see what that looks like. So as you can see, now this image is completely overexposed. So finding the sweet spot is what you wanna do. I'm okay with my shutter speed. I like my aperture to be nice and low. So now I'm going to adjust the ISO to give me that lighting that's perfect for the conditions that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna turn it. 100 was way too low. So I'm gonna try 200. 
I like my pictures to be a little underexposed. That looks about just right to me. But if I wanted it to be brighter, some people like bright and airy pictures, we could turn that up to, let's turn it up to 320. And now you can see the picture is getting much brighter. Let's do it one more time. Let's turn it up to 500. And now it's even brighter still. So that's it. The thing that you want to remember when you're starting out as a photographer is the basics. Shutter speed, aperture, ISO. Start with a shutter speed of 1 over 100. Your aperture is low as your lens will allow it to go. And your ISO at 100. And then adjust your settings towards the scenario that you are in. I like to keep my aperture as low as possible because I like to focus on the subject and blur the things about that person out. But I like to do portraits. If you were shooting a landscape picture, you would turn your aperture up to allow more of the image to be in focus, but now it will be darker. To compensate, you would turn your ISO up to make the image brighter. Go out, take some pictures, test these things out, let me know if this video was helpful to you. Um, leave some comments below. Uh, this is my first tutorial and I hope it's helpful to you. I really just wanted to do something that was quick and easy. Here's the basic settings. Now go out and take pictures. If you want to learn more, there's a ton of videos out there for you to check out. Um, dive in. Otherwise, don't forget to hit like if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more like this. And I will see you next time.